presenting our, our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Cherry Tigo crossovers. Let's begin with our team captain. He wears jersey number seven, Mylene Paat. At number four, Jasmine Nabor. Wearing jersey number nine, and a G. Laure. At number 10, Russell Baliton. Number 14, Serena Grace Carandang. And number 17, guest player from Montenegro, Elena Sviovic. Libero, number 24, Budding Duremdes. Head coach, Mr. Clarence Aying Esteban. Presenting our cream line, Cool Smashers. Team captain wear jersey number two, Eliza Valdez. At number 12, Julia Melissa de Guzman. Wearing jersey number 13, Celine Domingo. At number 14, Jeanette Panaga. Number 21 is guest player from Turkey, Yeliz Basa. And number 23, Jessica Margaret Galanza. Libero, number 11, Kyla Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. This match is regulated and monitored by the game. And we are just about ready to serve up the ball. Let's take a look at the starting lineups now. Marcel Baliton will be occupying that middle position and for the rest of the Cherry Eagle crossovers, no changes will be made in the starting unit. They will rely heavily on Mylene Pat who has been punching in reinforcement numbers <laughs> for yeah, the Cherry yeah, Eagle yeah. crossovers to support their reinforcement in Helena Sibiovic. And for the Cool Smashers, no changes also. It's going to be Yellow Basa in the opposite side of the court. And uh, Pots Carlos will be coming off the bench. Yellow Basa from Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. Puma, pumubus kong nasa mundo as a team in fact. Eh. Si Yellow Basa, hindi na kasali ko sa senior team eh, And they have moved towards uh, a lot of younger players in the last Olympics. And there she is. She's 35 years old. She stands 6 feet 2 inches. Brings so much experience for the Screamline squad. Keep in mind, this is the duel of the undefeated. I know they're almost ready to go into the next round, but this is important for momentum, Dibani. Yeah. And uh, for Screamline, they have to officially punch their ticket to the next round by winning this game against the Cherry Eagle crossovers. But for Cherry Eagle, they're on a five game winning streak, and that's a lot of confidence heading into this game against. Uh, our invitational champions. Itong uh, Cherry Tigo, 5 and 0, gaya na nasabi mo, this is their 6th game. Their 7th game, the last game will be PLDP. On the other hand, Creamland, they're 4 and 0, they have, plus today, this is their 5th game, they will have 2 remaining games. They will have F2 on Tuesday at the Araneta Coliseum, and then their last game will be against army on saturday but we are jam-packed i'm this venue slowly filled up in traffic sa labas, huh? i went to the nearby mall Sabi ko, Pabanting, aga ko, no? i struggled on the way back <laughs> i was riding a tricycle i'm not kidding i'm riding a tricycle and we really struggled to get back because this place has now been filled up and it's a saturday as well and we have uh, spectators actually uh, standing room only here in the venue. And um, Chairman Meneses saying, Garuna! And I think we're just trying to... I think we won't have a challenge with this game. 
I think it's not, yeah, I think the two coaches will be talked to that we won't, uh, tournament director Tony, Tony Boy Liao, there they are in the middle. Might as well, no, Neil? Kasi nagka-problema din tayo kanina eh. Yeah, that was an unfortunate turn of events for the high speed hitters. Nonetheless, we congratulate the Petragas Angels for carving out a four-set win. But for this specific game, we will not be having yes. the challenge system. So it will... Might as well. Rather than wait for uh, some technical glitches uh, to be solved. So uh, let's make that clear. For this game, we will not use the technical challenge system. So the referees will decide on this. And we will rely heavily to acting officials, our first and second referees, and the four linesmen, they will have a tough job. Let's see if we can listen to this discussion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now where all systems go, it's set one between Creamline and Cherry Tigo. Via Murado de Guzman will start things off for the Creamline Pool Smashers. But final clarifications will be made by Coach Sherwin Meneses. Okay, here's the clarification from Mr. Tony Boyleau. The ball in, ball out at the baseline will not be enforced here today. But the other challenge aspects, they will still use it. So oh, okay. It will be completely out in challenge I for see. today. So let's see how smoothly or how, how roughly we'll sail along in the sets to come. No, I was not kidding when you say this is four sets of five sets. Given the way these two teams are playing, I wouldn't be surprised. Morado has the first set. I got to get used to calling GM Morado de Guzman with all due apologies to her husband, of course. In the meantime, first point scored by Green Line. Yellow Basa injecting so much energy to that first point for the Fool Smashers. They want to get their fifth straight victory this time against the Cherry Tigo crossovers. And the Guzman is all set to serve. Lauri got to it. Combination play, Pax lands it. Galanza, soft stop. Crowd yelling early on. It's a whistle, and I think it's four touches. Early two point lead for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Steady on the offense, steady on the defense. Now we know Cream Line is able to pick up its game when it's championship time or when they play yeah. as a national team. Now, this is the challenge with Cherry Tigo. How much higher can they elevate their game? The Guzman gets to it, there's a scramble for it. Basa gets to it, Galanza will push it over gently. Ah, oh, great touch. That's three straight points for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Yellow Basa denying that quick attack from Rosel Baliton. And you can't give a soft touch like that to Yellow Basa. You have to at least challenge the block. I love the quality of our imports. Uh, we, they are either world championship players yeah. or they played in the Olympics. Double block by Creamline. Here's the attack. Double block again. Recycled offense. Here's a soft touch. Return. The ball reaches for it. Cracked down by Laura, they push it over. Here comes the set. De Guzman sets up another. And listen to this crowd roll! <laughs> Four consecutive points for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. At sumisenya sa mga si Jeanette Managa, nahihirapan siya to hear Gia Morado's play. Ano? 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 <laughs> because of this crowd. Amay na lang. <laughs> Senyasa na lang. Grabe itong start ng Cream Line. Huh? Very, very auspicious start and Gia Murado de Guzman has been there forever. Combination thwarted. Track down. Just at the net. Baliton got to it. Opportunity to strike. Galanza with a good dig. Morado Galanza. Yes!
We have a timeout. Let's see if we can listen in first. Okay, um, let's see if we can bring along Rain Tixon for a cherry report. Uh, uh, Rain? When I asked Mylene Paat if the crossovers think about going up against another undefeated team, sabi niya sa akin, oh, oh, siyempre. Despite already securing a semi-finals ticket, Mylene said it's all about pride at this point. Sabi niya, masaya siya basta ginagawa ng Cherry Tigo yung best nila, pero syempre mas masarap kapag panalo. Will the crossovers move on with an unblemished record? Let's get back here at set one to find out. And the update on the challenge system, it is now non-existent for this game. It won't be used, so that makes that clear. The co coaches have agreed. But Neil, what a great start by Creamline here. Uh, they're out attacking the Cherry Tigo crossovers and all angles. And uh, the digging of Creamline has been splendid. And Eliza Valdez is still in the back row. Has not really attacked yet. Here's a dig. It goes to Galanza. Dorendes got to it. Galanza recalibrates. The reverse. The set. Yes! Yellow Baza is loving the energy here in Santa Rosa. Six straight points for Creamline. And Coach Clarence is correct. They don't have any problems with the receive. It's just that they're having a hard time converting their offense because the net defense of Creamline has been steady. And Dami exactly. na kuhang rebounds. If they get past the first line of defense of Creamline, meron pang second row. Naminaman ni Kyla Tienza and Eliza Valdez. So well said, Neil, that wall has been there. And finally, they are able to break it. And that's just what they needed. One stop to the run ng Creamline Cool Smashers. And I know that the reinforcement of Cherry Tigo is being relied on mainly on defense. But she has to show up offensively this time around for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. <laughs> Elena Sibicovic, and she is from Montenegro. Montenegro used to be part of a country known as Montenegro, Serbia, which is the old Yugoslavia. When that separated, Montenegro became a country on its own. Montenegro is ranked among the top 50 teams, although they have not qualified yet for the Olympics or for the World Championships. That is touched last by Bath, and that'll make it 7-2. to two. Locking will be very crucial for the Cherry Tigo crossovers because we know that the offense of Creamline is always scattered every Correct. time Gia Morado de Guzman steps up to play. And if you're Cherry Tigo, you don't want Creamline to get its game going. In the meantime, Galanza mops her serve. It will go over to Cherry Tigo at 7 3 3 will serve against 7. Now, this is a full front line for the crossovers. They have uh, the two best scorers when I talk about local players in Mylene Pat and Sakarandang. And they will also have the help of a healthy EJ Laure. Baliton serving play. Yellow shot is rejected. Boiled two straight points now for the crossovers. Right on time. That block of Sakarandang. Getting the point for the crossovers. It was six to nothing before Cherry got its first point. Baliton's second tour of duty. Panaga miss hit it. He saw it, but she'll take it. We arrive in the first technical timeout, and we are reeling and rolling and rocking in Santa Rosa.
Switch to Signal Postpaid for more super loaded bonding moments. Get free three months and more when you subscribe today. Call 8888-5555. No, daling tagdaan. No, apat na eight, apat na five. <laughs> eight five. In the meantime, now, sa volleyball, alam natin, it's a game of momentum. Now, and Cherry will have to develop their own momentum, especially against the drive, the initial surge by Creamline here. And they've managed to cut this deficit down. Galanza gets to it. Here's yellow. It punches through the defense. And that's off the blockers. And two straight points scored by the crossovers. The matchup in the middle blocker position, that was that's something that I've been waiting for to uh, see Sakarandang go up against Ced Domingo. They've grown so much in their respective club teams. Alam mo yung game nila against Army. I saw that on TV. That was a struggle, huh? Oh, Domingo getting maximum elevation, flying through the air. Zero tempo right off the bat. Big quick play from the Guzman and said Domingo. Ganon na ngayon yung game, ano, Neil? Lower sets, yeah. weaker sets. Wala na mga floating na conventional na lum nangingibaba. In the meantime, Paat blasts away! And... Uh, this woman on your screen has also improved leaps and bounds after her stint in Thailand. She brought her reinforcement cape on here for the Charity Go crossovers. Uh, uh, reinforcement in Puaco. <laughs> Here's Laure serving. Looks long, it is. I really like the intention. She wanted to go for a hard serve because a lot of receivers on the floor for Creamline that's a top 10 in the categories. And that's a very good point you made because it's not about they should not make service errors. But there's an intention. I mean, objective yeah. each time. Oh, I love the way she reacts when she scores a point. She used to come off the bench, but with a retooled roster, of the Charity Go crossovers. She just found a spot right there in the starting unit. And she really deserves it. Uh, and Karandang does not have sleeves, but her heart is there, definitely. And she enjoys each moment she scores for her team. Nice push! Problem! Good dig from Karandang. There was a follow-up on the second touch, but Charity Go just couldn't get it over to the side of Creamline. And the Cool Smashers will maintain that three-point lead. This crowd just waited. We, we, we went into extended stretches because of difficulties with the challenge system earlier. In the meantime, the set by Nabor. Oh, very deep dig that time by Yellow. Nabor pushes it. It's rejected. It's out. Three points already for the reinforcement of Cheritigo. Hitting it off the hands of Gia Morado de Guzman, that right hand. Gusto ko yung mix natin ng imports. Merong from the United States, merong from Europe, giving us different dimensions, different ways of playing. This is in play. There's the push by Elena. And the dig that time by Doremdes. The shot. And look at this. The crossovers waxing hot here. Same hit from Elena Sivijovic. Finding the hands of Gia Morado de Guzman once again for that check out. Time out as four by Sherwin Meneses. When I'm preparing for this game, the ako does a resume in yellow basa. She's been around. Yeah. She's been to Korea, to Japan, and first time in Southeast Asia was when she played in Indonesia. I guess you language some volleyball. 
International yeah. naman, ano? It is universal. Receive. Set. Yeah. Quick. Di ba? Madali naman. Magkaintindihan eh. Uh-oh. Alisa with a problem with her dig. Now we're tied at 11 all with that service ace of Jasmine Nabor. Coach Sherwin Mines has actually recognized the heavy serving of the crossover in yeah, that previous yeah. timeout. Sabi niya, nilalakasan talaga yung serve para mahirapan tayo at makuha out of system. So we have to be able to get that first pass papunta kay Gia Morado uh -huh. de Guzman. Alisa with two errors of her digs. Wow, Cherry Tigo fans came ready for this game. They have their own streamers and banners. Huh? <laughs> the management was prepared. Yeah. <laughs> They're undefeated, 5-0. Uh, oh, no, when you consider where they came from, how yeah. they struggled uh, through their early uh, stints here in the PBL as well. And they, despite the fact that they had won a championship in their first try. I think that was in Bacara. Ilocos, when Jaja ja Santiago was still playing Ito for the crossover, sila din yung magkalaban. But after that championship, everything went downward. Papunta sa Cherry Tigo crossovers. May life, may ganun sa life ng mga teams. Ano, huh? This attack, Valdez now with a solid dig. Here comes Galanza flying and scoring. Great cut shot from Gemma Galanza avoiding the block of Sibiovic. That was a sharp down the line angle. Such precision for that hit. Boy, we will battle for every point here. It's almost like championship night. You can tell with the way this Santa Rosa crowd is responding. There's a ton of traffic on the way here. And look at this Cherry Tigo matching Creamline every step of the way after being down early six to nothing. It's a different game now. Mylene Paat again using the block of Yellow Basa. Sivijevic. Galanza yelling, mine, mine, mine. Basa is rejected. Good hands by Baliton. And that's the reason why she's there in the middle. You might not see her go up for a lot of attempts on the quick hits. But when it comes to blocking, she times it well. Sivijevic all set. There goes man set. Bassa hits the corner. <laughs> what a powerful hit from Yellow Bassa. This time targeting zone one. What a swing. If you observe the Turkish national team, that's it. They're here too. Standard style Nilayan. They are not, and that's an interesting team because they are known as the Sultans of the Net. In the meantime, Valdez has not really attacked yet. She's already in the front row. Good block, solid. Panaga with a hand on it. Great anticipation from Janet Panaga. The fact that they know that uh, si Rosel Baliton, hindi ganun kadami yung binibigay na bola from Jasmine Nabor. Yung mata nila, nakapunta na agad kay Mylene Paat for that combination play. Parang naipit na rin si Mylene eh. Nung nakita niya yung double block sa ano, hindi niya maihis yung kamay niya eh. Great <laughs> what a counter from Jasmine Nabor. Dinyo sasabayan yung middle blocker Teka, bibigyan ko muna. And I love also the development of Nabor as a, one of the premier centers here in the Premier Volleyball. Now, redundant, no premier, premier na. But I love that development. Here's the serve, low and hard to handle. Don't look now, but Cherry Tigo is in the lead at the second technical timeout.
Glad you could join us here tonight from Santa Rosa Laguna for the continuing uh, coverage of the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference, Eb Sarmant and Neil Flores. We've got uh, Rain Tixon with us. Boy, our production room is so young. I feel I was in the Ateneo cafeteria. <laughs> A lot of young people. I, I could feel, uh, hey, this is, I don't see this. And uh, when Eliza gets into this funk, yeah. May, sa sarili niya eh. And she has to snap out of it. Actually, they're having a hard time getting that first pass, which is, which is ironic. Tina target ba siya? Tina target siya, but Eliza Valdez is number five in the best receiving category. Ironic, and ano? Kyle Atienza is number seven. Sabi ni Eliza balik mo sa akin. In the meantime, yellow. Great. Lift up by Nabor. Here comes Pat. Atienza got to it. Great set. Touch on the ground! What a great decision by Galanza. Last minute decision to go for a drop ball. Jonathan Nang from Ribisco supporting uh, the Cool Smashers here in Santa Rosa. That was also Sir Alan Acero. Ako ang matanda na. Student ko si Alan nung araw. <laughs> oh, he had to remind me during the press conference, actually. Nicely done. Mahirap mabantayan yung kaliwete per se, Neil. Uh, when you're at the net, you know it's coming. Yeah. But the fact on left-handed si Mylene, is that problematic for the defense? It's very tricky to... Although she went right-handed there, huh? Yeah. But it's very tricky to block a left-handed spiker because... But means that mahirap basahin yung body language and direction ng wrist action. Now a double substitution is made by Coach Clarence after a blazing start by the Cool Smashers. The Cherry Tigo crossovers are are not now up by two points and seem to have a firmer grip on the set compared to their rather wild start. And here's a recovery. Double substitution on the side of Creamline. This time, it's Kyle Negrito and Michelle Gumabao. Okay, we've got Kyle Negrito all set to serve. She becomes their setter now. I like the way Michelle Gumabao played in that ABC tournament when we won a couple of games. In the meantime, Michelle is off to a good start with a block. Forte ng isang Michelle Gumabao ang blocking, shutting down din din Santiago Manabat. Boy, remember when she was playing for La Salle, the way she would shut down anybody who attacked her, her stratosphere? 18 all. I like the fact she came back to our volleyball world. She was a beauty queen for a while. And she is, still is, of course. Once a volleyball player, always a I volleyball guess so, player. I guess so. In the meantime, here comes the easy over. Negrito sent it airborne. Atienza makes it a set. Gumabao's shot is being played. Picard makes it a set. Hard work by Atienza now from the rear. Galanza keeps it alive. Valdez. That was into the net for Eliza Valdez. And Cherry will still emerge on top by one point. Ang cool din ni Coach Esteban, ano? 6-0, sige, sige. Yung point mo kanina sabi, eh, wala yung mga problema doon sa ginagawa natin. Yung atake natin ang problema. Eh, na-adjust na nila. Ito si Laura. Galanza, maipit si Greg. Grito, problematic! Dreamline really has to work on that first pass. They've given multiple points already. Parang yung... Nothing is going to happen unless the first pass makes it to yeah. the setter, actually. Two-point lead by Tigo, Cherry Tigo, which was down early on by as much as six to nothing. They scratch back into this first set. That's for the word! And that might be the turning point for Eliza Valdez. She needed that for her confidence. After uh, multiple shank passes, 
from the serve of Cherry Tigo. She finally scores a point off that hit. And if you're a smart setter, you're going to give it to her. Okay, start, get going, start going. Dorendes makes it a set. Santiago Manabat fires. Negrito reverses. Gumabo! She got it to go! That's two points already for Michelle Gumabo. Lagi limited minutes in the BBG Sakanya Nico Sherwin Meneses, but she would find a way to score the points for Cream Line. And that's what you want uh, from your players in an import laden conference. Nicely done. What? Tigo keeps it alive. Valdez has it. Negrito makes it a set. Gumabo scores! Back to back. Same spot for Michelle Gumabo. Make that three points for MG. And you know who's one of the happiest? It's Yellow Basa who's jumping up and down in the cream line corner. We've got a timeout. <laughs> And this game living up to each of the points we made in the at the top of the telecast in terms of anticipation and the fireworks that we expected to happen here at the Santa Rosa Sports Complex. Ganun pala ang instruction sa tricycle. Saan kayo, sir? Sports Complex. Yun pala yun. Samantala, Valdez with a clean dig. Gumaba ends up short. Too low on the contact for that combination play. And even the spacing wasn't right for Michel Gumaba and Seth Domingo in that last sequence. Parang ang sikip, ano? Parang nag... You could sense that Michelle was hoping for the best. Bahala na. Paglipad ko. Then, but she's apologetic to the team. In the meantime, here's the serve by Karandang. Here comes the Negrito set. Galanza unloads. That swing of Gemma Galanza. You can just hear the thud when you're here live in the venue. Getting past the block of Dindin Managos Santiago and Rosel Balaton. Too late to close that gap. I love the passion of both sides in this game. As if it were championship night, really. But so much at stake. It's momentum for the next round, really, which they're looking for. Off the block, Kumaba with one hand on it. Galanza! Reba Galanza, back to back. Power hits through the seam of the blocking of Cherry Tigo. Great shoot set from Kyle Negrito. Double block was already there, pero masyadong mabilis yung wrist action ni Gemma Galanza. You know what I love? The happiest people with those develop what, Neg what Negrito and Galanza did was actually Gia Morado de Guzman. You love that of a teammate. In the meantime, they are just at the net. Tough reverse. Gumabo shot. Ricochets out. And we arrive at set point. And that is four points for Michelle Gumabo. Hindi na binalik ni Coach Sherwin Menezes si Gia no? Morado de Guzman. Because he doesn't want to cut the momentum that they oh, have right now. Nakabuelo. He's talking right now to Negrito and um, stay there. Ukan bibitaw. Domingo serving for the set. Sivicovic gets to it. Oh, good shot by Dindin. Great counter from Dindin Santiago Manabat. They're not yet out of it. Just two points away from tying this ball game at 24. But they will move out as Nabor and Pat comes back in. Ang bait talaga ni Din din. Sa opening natin kanina sa ikot. Din pag din pag tinamaan ako ha. Di sir, bahala ako sa inyo. Samantala. Uy, time out. Kasi 24-22. Makinig tayo kay Coach Sherwin. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So alam mo na papaloy mo. Be quick. Nasa gitna eh. Cover, cover. Hey, Greenland! 
Looks like two options for plays uh, being mapped out there. I love it also when the imports feel at home, kahit na Tagalog yung, yung uh, discussion. <laughs> diba? Magtatango-tango. And sabi sa'yo, universal ang language ang volleyball eh. Sometimes they would just look at the drawings na ginagawa oh, ng mga coaching sa amin. They would instantly understand. They've been around in the world. They've listened to Indonesians, Thais, um, Koreans, Japanese. In the meantime, alanganin. Double contact will uh -huh. be called on Kyle Negrito. Medyo alanganin yung first ball na pumunta sa kanya. Eh, diba? She had to hustle all the way to the back row. And she wanted to do a reverse set. Uh -oh. Papunta kay Michelle Gumabaw. Parang she lost her feet under her in that last drive. This one is clean. Gumabaw. Oh, look at this! Out of system play from Michelle Gumabaw. But she gets five points in that late rally of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Not the strongest of hits, but going through the defense of the Cherry Tigo crossover. Screamline will get first blood. Diyos ko, ang music. Casey and the Sunshine Band. Hindi ka pa pinapanganap. Neil <laughs> Flores. Pero that's the way I like it, sabi ng uh, Cool Smashers. Because they got major numbers from Michelle Gumaba. As you mentioned, five points coming off the bench. Yeah, she was the gate game changer in set number one. As we take a look at our set one highlights. Again, Creamline started with a 6-0 run. But when the Cherry Tigo crossover settled down, they were able to mount a comeback. They were able to counter the offense of the Cool Smashers. And at one point, they even had a two-point lead. Yes, And yes, yes, they yes. were able to expose the liabilities and yung mga butas sa receiving pattern ng cream line. Nabitin lang nung dulo because of those gaps in their blocking pattern. But necessary adjustments will definitely be made by Coach Clarence coming into set number two. I like the, his coaching, in fact, in the first part when they were down by six. But let's first take a look at the numbers. Creamline had 19 uh, attacks, big numbers in uh, the offense. But when you take a look at the serving department, Cherry Tigo definitely dominated that one. Five aces. Aside from the five aces, napakarami pang sequence na naging off system yung tinatakbo ng Creamline because of the correct, heavy serve. Correct, correct. At na, dinig natin no, isang timeout na napansin nga ni Sherwin Meneses na kinakargahan nga yung mga serve na pinararating ng Cherry Tigo. Now, if you're Cherry Tigo, what kind of change do you want to have in your outlook for the second set? They have to close out the gaps uh, in their blocking pattern, but the main adjustment that should be made uh, would be on their offense. Sabi nga ni Coach Clarence, dun tayo nagkukulang eh. Creamline had 19. They only had 10. If they correct, didn't correct, have correct. five service aces, we would have seen uh, probably a lopsided set number one. But that service error will give Creamline the first point in set number two. Creamline got points from the usual and the unusual sources. Michelle Gumabao with a great job coming off the bench, coming in for the import. In the meantime, here comes the setup. Cleanly done. There's a hole. Savicevic finding that open uh, hole. Well done. Savicevic. Oh! Another heavy serve for the crossovers. It's that spot of Kyla Atienza and Eliza Valdez. 
somehow they're targeting the middle part of their zone. Ano yung pagpapalakas ng serve? It's not just power, no? It's it's hand action. What do you think it is? It is hand action so that you avoid to put a spin on the ball. Kasi correct, pag correct. floater, mas mahirap yung i-receive eh. Dahil pa minsan, kumakaliwa, kumakanan pa. Uh, uh, uh. In the meantime, here's a bust out of the gates by the crossovers. They are in the lead by two points. There will be a change in the lineup being made by Coach Mineses. Risa Sato sees action for the first time, pulling out Panaga. Alam mo si Risa is also a good teammate. Sometimes he won't play, but she's one of the most buoyant and active along the sidelines, actually. Here we go. That's off the blockers. Yellow Basa continuing to add on to her attack points in this ball game. In the meantime, Sato serve. Back row. Masyadong pasulong si Galanza. Rain in the meantime will uh, make it shine. Don't make it rain, Rain. After an incredibly hot 6-0 start, the Creamline Cool Smashes were challenged by a very gritty Cherry Tigo crossovers. This was something team captain Eliza Valdez told me before the match. She said the team cannot be too complacent as they have a target on their backs. The Cool Smashers recognize that they are the team to beat as they're one championship away from achieving a Grand Slam. But she also mentioned how the team still chooses to enjoy the game despite all of the pressure. Now let's return to more volleyball action here in set two. Eliza's family, thank you, Rain. Eliza's family is here. Her father, uh, Ruel, her mother, Lita. Um, it's nice to know because, you know, her family, she has two brothers, see, Eliza. And she learned volleyball playing with her brothers. And she learned how to play it better, and now uh, she's thankful to her two brothers. And mas malapit yung Batangas dito sa Laguna. Yes. So, yes. it's nice to see the parents here supporting Eliza Valdez. Meantime, that was a good play from Jasmine Nabor. Shoot set, papunta kay EJ Laure. Si Laure naman, ang kanyang daddy, of course, is the basketball player, Eddie Laure. Here's Mylene Pat. Gia with all oh, Lila, that's a Gia. Morado set. That hop, skip, and set. Oh boy. What a jump set from Gia Morado de Guzman. He has mastered. Diba? Oh. Yung mga small nuances ng isang setter, mapa jump set, or yung konting tingkayad lang. Oh, yun, back. Yun, yun, yun. These, these are the movements that confuse the blockers. Karandang. Yellow. Gia Galanza cross court shot. Gemma Galanza high efficiency attacking so far. She has converted most of the sets given to her by Gia Morado de Guzman. And it's now six to five in favor of the Cool Smashers. Eliza Valdez serves. Dorendes gets to it. The push on two. Gia lobs it high. Galanza. And you take a look at Gemma Galanza's swing. Hindi siya puro braso eh. The, the snap of that wrist, let's take a look at this replay, was perfect for that kill. Yep. Hindi siya full extension eh. It's more of wrist action eh. She always makes sure na tama yung form niya. Oh yes. Form is everything, you know. In the meantime, said, sends it, and Galanza got to it. Karandang smart to that play. The shot, block. It's still alive! Tinalikuran ni Seth. Sabi niya, bakit buhay pa? Ito si Galanza. And got it! So much variation on the attacks of Gemma Galanza right now. And they get to the technical timeout first.
Paligaya ang audience at ang mga fans ng uh, Dreamline. Oh, kala ko ba umuwi na yun? <laughs> My partner a while ago, Sir Eric Tipan, still watching the game with his wife. Alam mo, a little known fact about Eric, he's an excellent writer about cars. The automotive industry master na yan. Won several prizes uh, in competitions. Eh? In the meantime, Basa gets to it. Atienza goes to Galanza, who's been having a hot hand in the second set. The strike. Yes! And the offense of the Cherry Eagle crossovers have developed that balance. Now, yes, Mayerlin Paat would always stop score the team, pero hindi natin makakalimutan yung production nung mga kasama niya, like EJ Laure and uh, Sakarandang as well. Nakakatawa kay EJ from her UST days to the present. Napaka-poise pa rin yan. Na talagang yan, nothing really bothers her. Galanza with a hot hand. Yellow gets to it. It's alive! It's alive! Here comes the ball. Makes it a set to pot to score! Too much power on that hit from Mylene Pat. Again, we don't have any challenge system in this specific game. That was a good fake approach from uh, Jasmine Nabor. Transition to that set for Mylene Paat. If there was the challenge, they would have challenged the touch. Yeah. But I think the coaches have been told it's not going to work here today. We might as well fix it first. In the meantime, here's Domingo and her serve. Laure. A little problematic. Doremdes got to it. Gia. Gemma. To the back. Whoa, oh, where there's an empty spot. Zakarandang, very aggressive. Jensenet, not waiting for the second touch. Great first ball from Mylene Paat. Habang nakahiga kay lahat, sabi ni Karandang. Her serve in play. Valdez got to it. Gia Murado digs it up. Galanza's rejected. Baliton closing out the right angle. Gemma Galanza was going for a cross-court hit. Medyo nabasa na ng Cherry Tigre ito. Alam nila saan pupunta. <laughs> Iba talaga yung thrill pag nakaka-block kayo, no? Iba yung sen thrill at yung sensation. Galanza shot. To the back row, yellow scampers for it. Here goes Galanza. Regalo! Back-to-back oh! <laughs> -back points for Rosel Baliton. Off the block. Now this time off the attack. And we're tied again. Nine apiece. But Carlos will be replacing uh, Eliza Valdez in the backcourt. Looks like Coach Sherwin Menezes is looking for more options of attack. I love it also when the imports begin to be part of the team. You know, they want to win also. Ito, oh, adjustment. Buhay pa yan! Pero namatay sa tubig. After that hit, they now grab the lead. And at one point in this Second frame, Dreamline was up by three points. Yes, and it's four straight points racked together by the crossovers. Let's tune in to Sherwin Meneses. Okay, situation, oh, nakahabol sila. Ano gagawin natin? Bak Balik lang tayo sa ginagawa natin palagi. Yun lang. Simula ulit, simula ulit. Cover tayo, pag mabagal yung bola, attempt lang, attempt, wala nag-attempt eh. Ah, let's go, let's go. Okay. Hey, Green Line! Okay. You're watching the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference. Have Sarmenta, Neil Flores, and uh, Rain Tixon, your trio uh, of broadcasters for this game. Uh, both teams, if you're just tuning in, undefeated in the tournament so far. First set went the way of Cream Line. Very close. 25 to 22, I believe. And uh, this one, very spirited chase, but out of reach. 
Marcel Baleton has been spectacular in that middle blocker position. Scoring the last three points for the crossovers. Opo ulit si Risa Sato as Jeanette Panaga finds her way back in the starting unit for the Cool Smashers. Ito yung part of the game, sasabihin ng team behind, isa lang, isa lang, isa lang, isa lang! What a cannon of a hit from Gemma Galanza. Mainit-init pa. <laughs> Parang ano, no? Yung pandesal, kaluluto lang. Si Galanza, mainit ha, 8 points na, no? Yan ang trabaho ko sa bahay eh. Tiga bilhin ng pandisal. <laughs> Laura drops to the deck. Here comes Sumisumich and hit Nick the line. Cherry just has to take care of that two-point lead. It's been close and tight except for some stretches na lumamang ng maagay yung isa. Six to nothing ng first set. Tapos sabi mga three ang, ang lead ng uh, cream line kanina. Out, out. She misjudged the angle. But it managed to stay in. It oh, looked out. Inside. Yeah, it was inside. And officially, the score is 12-11. We have it right on your screen. Nine attacks already for Gemma Galanza. Laure, Nabor. Oh, it's out. Rosel Baleton has been manning the net so well for the crossovers, and Sivijovic has been stepping up on offense. Alam ni Sivijovic, yung blocker is on that line. So, dun niya yahampas, ricochet out. And it's a two point lead by the crossovers. Gia with a one handed set. Panaga dumps it over. Here comes Mylene Pot, high up and out. Overshooting the mark was Mylene Pot. They still have a one point lead though. Roy, the game of strategy being played by both sides. Panaga. It's all ready to serve. She's waiting for the cue. She got it. And this serve in play. Laure. This is tight and difficult. Panaga got to it. Carlos aims. Does not cross over. Cherry Digo has been successful in getting cream line out of system in the past few sequences and that's the time that Creamline has a difficult time in converting their offense. Yes. In the meantime, we have Baliton serving, Rossell serving play. Morado sets it up. Oh! <laughs> Yellow Baza asking for that ball from Gia Morado de Guzman. Now the lead is down to one. Just tie a yellow ribbon. <laughs> Up. Overreaching will be called on Jasmine Nabor. Yes. Naunang hawaka ni Celine Domingo yung ball yeah. and the ball was already on the court of cream line before Jasmine Nabor was able to get a touch. Referee Villarde, who was the first referee, was precise and sure about it. I think there was no hesitation on his part. In making that call, we're knotted together at 14. Sivijevic got to it. Pat gets it to bite. Right set. The pass was already there in the left wing, but Jasmine Nabor was able to do that reverse set. Papunta kay Mylin Pat and Alina Bicar right now will come back alongside Dindin Santiago Manabat. Same substitution as we saw in the first set for the crossovers. We hope you're enjoying uh, this edition of the Premier Volleyball League uh, coming from Santa Rosa Sports Complex here in Laguna. Two undefeated teams battling here. Carlos connects. Watch the delight of the Creamline fans. 
She's now in the ball game, but she's not on the opposite side of the court. She's occupying the left pin. We are tied at 15. How close is close? This is pretty close. Here comes her serve. The remnants got to it. The set. It's up in the air. Double touch. And there was a net violation. Uh huh. And the first, or oh, the second technical timeout, rather. Getting there first is Cherry Tigo. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with you very, very quickly. Don't forget, Bingo Plus is the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. 16-15 connection, a tally rather, with Cherry Tigo, the team to the left of your picture, in the lead slightly. All set to serve will be Laure. Nerfi Velarde says, let's play on, ladies. EJ Laure with four points, off four attacks. The reverse set. Carlos pushes it gently into the open spot. That's one of her favorite tactics to go for a full approach and then last minute go for a uh, drop ball. It takes a special skill set to do that, to make that split second decision when you're in mid air, then you see the defense. Adjusting that way. In the meantime, we're knocking at 16. Dindin, Carlos. They kept it in play. The push. Dindin, Manabat. To the other side. It's alive. It is Galanza dinking it over. Nabor, Abicar rather. Tight. Transition slide attack works for Panaga and the Guzman. Team Lime will get the lead back. Talaga ito itong cream line ng mga fan base nila, may mga chapter na rin ito. Hindi ako magugulat kung meron. Di ba? Southern Philippines chapter. The president is, I might be kidding, but I'm sure there is. In the meantime, connected lahat siya on social media, I'm sure. Karandang got to it, big car. The shot rejected because recalibrates. It's off the block. Viovic again off the block of Gia Morata de Guzman. That has been her main strategy in attacking the defense of Creamline. Go to the shorter blocker and hit it off her hands. And she has had so much success. Simply lang siya maglaro and as easy Viovic player from Montenegro, Galanza. You know, there's a tournament in Europe and that's not involved the main powers. It's called the Tournament of the Smaller States. And her country, Montenegro, has been a consistent winner there. Because it's hard to fight with Italy, France, right? It's a big base. So they have that tournament as well. In the meantime, Galanza Malayo masyado. And Yellow. That's, that's back-to-back blocks for Dindin Santiago Manabat and Rosel Baliton. This is the tallest front line, the average uh, height of uh, I think, Charitigo. I think that's a hard wall to drive against. And in the meantime, Sherry Menezes wants to talk strategy. Oh, situation na, dalawa lamang ha, walang ibahin ha. Saka tayo, Gina! Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Hey, green light! Action! 
the way the dynamics works is that the coach might probably speak in Filipino and the uh, uh, other girls will help translate it for the import. <laughs> but you're right, body language and just looking and listening to the terms, I'm sure they get it right away. And it was a simple timeout oh, from Coach Sherwin Meneses. We don't have to This is the situation we are in. Two, huh? si Yellow has been to Japan, Korea. Uh-oh, it's a little bit. There's a lot was in the way of Yellow Basa for that back row attack. Now, the, the body language there is... Tega, it's your plan, huh? And you could see a rare frown from Yellow Basa because that play did not go the way they planned it. Galanza, it is held up high. In the meantime, they go back row from the pipe. Karandang yells for it. The set. Din Din. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! And the chess match between the coaching staff, yung mga substitutions nila, people might think. Na maliit lang yung difference, but it changes the complexion of the Absolutely. ball game entirely. The crossovers with five straight points. Problematic, but they make do. Achenza in a boat. Well done. Panaga on a slide. Splitting uh, the blockers there. That's a good strategy for Gia Morado de Guzman. Na long slide attack yung ibibigay niya kay Janet Panaga and you can just go to your usual C set for Gia Magalanza. Gia will serve. Her team currently down. She has done that much so far in terms of setting. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's red hot here today. After getting two consecutive block points, she gets two consecutive attack points. Job well done for Vicar and Santiago Manabat. Boy, they created the gap we have right now. 22-18 here in the second set. First set going the way of cream line. Nabor, long. Still has to get three consecutive points. Now they will have Yellow Basa, Janet Panaga, and Tots Carlos in front. Galanza, Laure digging it up. Sevijevic, big dig by Gia from downstairs. Counter by Laure. Nabor with a set. Double rejection. It is out. There's no challenge. I think uh, yellow, <laughs> yellow was, was asking for a challenge. But it will not be implemented. So it yeah. will be up to the first referee to make the final calls this entire game. And uh, with that point of the Cherry Tigo crossovers, they now have a four-point lead. And they're tiptoeing towards the finish line here. Elena Sibiovic, long. <laughs> Jeanette Panaga will serve. She has also improved vastly. Laure. But Gia unable to handle the red hot volleyball. And we arrive at set point for Cherry Tigo. Chaya Odorodor will be serving for the crossovers. And they're hoping to make a final ace to seal the second set. little girl. Adorador. That's hard job, eh? coming off the bench. That's a serve, ka. Nako ang hirap ni tong set nito. Ginawa ng paraan. Pat hammers it down. 
And the second set belongs to Cherry Tigo. We have a ball game. Here's that winning point. And we are tied up in the set count. One apiece. Let's look at the confirmation. 25-23, 25-20. We'll be back. ang mindset sa dalawang team na ito. Gusto nga mag, <laughs> magpatayan. <laughs> the way they have clawed at each other They're in a very healthy, competitive spirit. The first set ended at 25-23 in favor of Green Line, but there was a counter by Cherry Tigo in the second, Neil. And uh, Cherry Tigo had uh, more attacks this time. They addressed that problem in set number one and they added five uh, bonus blocks. So from offense to defense, that was Cherry Tigo set to get. You know, you won't be very good in every set. So it's a way of, probably the word mindset was used on how you're going to win in its entirety. So this could be a turning point, this third set, which is coming up. Now, Alisa Valdez will have to get going here. She's been, uh, she did not have a very good start. Uh, she had three uh, problematic digs, actually. Not good for her confidence. Let's see how she adapts here in the third set. We're glad that you can be part of the Premier Volleyball League here today. Underway with your third set. Dig from downstairs. Gia sets up. Galanza also had a hot hand. She's going to be in double figures most likely here today. Ooh, I think. Let me judge the yellow. There was also a miscue on the side of the Guzman and uh, Eliza Valdez. Okay, it's one to nothing. Cherry Tigo scratches the scoreboard first. Nabor. Gia sets up Panaga. It's still in play. Here comes the attack. Sevejevic. Gia has to track it down. That crawls down and out. Yellow Basa powering through the block of Myling Pat and Rosel Baliton. Gia Morato de Guzman with that pop set to the left wing. Okay, from Michelle Cobb, the uh, question we posed today, which libero will get the most digs between Ate Buding or Ate Kaila? <laughs> From Redentor, Kyla Tienza is leading among other players in the digging department. And for 
uh, they would need to work hard for today's match to dig the attacks of their opponent for them to get to that 5-0 and record. And this one is from uh, Riri. Riri. Um, they think that the Kyla, she's doing such a good job since the beginning and improved so much that she's the best libero. She was the best libero during the ABC. Ang ating mga fans ay uh, masugit na sumusunod sa ating action. Two all tie rito sa ating second, uh, third set, sorry. Atienza bungles that. He, she knew it the minute she, it left her hand. She was hoping for the best, actually. Now, Ella De Jesus will be replacing Kyla Atienza in the back row. So far, okay naman si Kyla Atienza in digging, but it has been her reception that has been a problem yeah, okay. for Creamline so far. So, Coach Sherwin Meneses will start to utilize the two liberos that he has. I'm still getting used to seeing... Ella De Jesus is a libero, actually. When, you know, in college, she was quite a scorer, in fact. Tabla po tayo sa three. Diba? Kaya nga, pinansagan ni Bob Gonzalez ng elevator yan, eh. Wala nga ang gamit na elevator, pero lumilipad. <laughs> Market mag-isa. Panaga! Long! May problem ang serve ng, ano, ha? Ng, uh, cream line, ha? May, may mga lampas silang serve, ha? They're looking to find a target, but they keep on overshooting the mark. Kasi gusto tamaan yung zone 1 or zone, ano yung isa? 6. Ito, mababa, kinuha sa taas. Reverse set, yellow. Getting it to go is yellow, pasa. Yalabasa serve. Close to the net on the set. Karandang, I think she missed it. If you're just joining us, the sets are tied at one apiece, as you can see on your scoreboard. First set going the way of cream line, 25-23, and the second was taken by Cherry Tigo. 25-20 was the score <laughs> in the second. <laughs> Yellow Basa wanted to give a high five to assistant coach Carlos Santos because I think he was the one who gave the directions to target that zone. Oh, okay. And she immediately scored. Doremdes kidding on the floor. It is rejected by a double block. Nabora just. That punch is through. Ah, ah, ah. A lifting violation will be called on a set Domingo. No team getting a big lead so far here no. in set number three. The biggest leads, the, the only big lead was that six to nothing surge by Creamline at the start in set number one. Aliza Valdez gets to it, gets to attack. And that's the Aliza Valdez. Nakilala nating lahat, starting off with a good pass. Approaching for that attack and converting that point for the Cool Smashers. Adjusting her hand on the way down. Cream line with the slight lead. Trying to hit that technical timeout first. And Paat gets to it. It's still playable. Sveyevic gets it over. The quick. <laughs> We arrive on the first technical timeout of the third. It's eight to five in favor of Cream Line. Don't go too far away.
Kung kayo po ay dadaan ng bandang uh, Santa Rosa, Laguna, dito sa lugar na ito, eh, hindi ko na kailangan sabihin yung 5,900. Sabi nung direktor na, ituro mo, ituro mo, para sabihin ko yung number na yan, 5,936. Yung mga 36 ho dyan, kami ho yan. Kami ho yan 36. Kami ho yung hindi nagbayad. Pero yung 5,900, nagbayad ho yan. Pero it shows you how popular the game continues to be. In the meantime, we are at 8-5. Yellow Basa gets to it. Back row attack. Why pa? No whistle. You play on. Ella falls to the deck but keeps it alive. Galanza gets sent to the crowd roar again. The defense of Ella De Jesus getting activated. And uh, Gemma Galanza making sure to get that point after that hard-fought rally. Again, very simple swing and snap of the wrist from Gemma Galanza. Yung mga hindi inabutan si Ella De Jesus na nag spike here. Ganun ho si Ella dati, parang si Galanza. But I like the way she adjusted to this new role. Huh? In the meantime, it's 9-6 to six here in the third. Oh, hindi, hindi masama kong nasisilaw si Neil Flores. Huwag, huwag niyo kong eh, bubuksan ng flash niyo habang kinukunan na si Neil. In the meantime, that's out. Biggest lead for the Cool Smashers at four points. Pero alam mo, tama ka eh. Walang lead na nagtatagal dito. Eh, no? Ang apa to. Di, mawawala. Ani, mawawala. Mukhang, alam mo yung ilaw na yan. Nadi-distract yung ano eh. Nadi-distract yung mga player actually. Pati yung referee. Actually lahat. Meanwhile, that's what said Domingo has done up to this moment. This is playable. Mylene Pat. Yellow Basa got to it. Galanza unloads. What a dig from Buding Tremdes. In the meantime, the attack. Off the blockers. And hindi nila sinayang yung effort ni Buding. Buding Tremdes is the number four best digger of the league. She's also number ten in receiving. Hindi ba si Buding? Did she decide? I think she wanted to stop for a while and study... Medicine, yata. I, I'll, I'll confirm. In the meantime, that's down and out. Jeta Guzman with a rare one-two play on the second touch. Ang alam ko libero na wanted to study medicine was then then Lazaro yeah. Revilla, no? She was a med student at one point. Alam ko biology ang undergrad niya, eh. Parang si AJ, di ba? In the meantime, it becomes a set. Yellow. Yellow Basa adding on to their lead, which is now at five points. Prompting Cheritigo to utilize a timeout. Coach Esteban wants to discuss a lot of things, I suppose. So, huwag niyong bagoy yung pattern kasi pag binago natin, makawala rin tayo doon sa ano natin, ginagawa natin. O kaya ano ba pinapaano, eh, kinocross na nga, eh, ang, ang balambot na sana kaso nanonood na tayo doon sa depensa. Yung huddle natin, nawawala na. Yung ano natin, yung intensity, tsaka yung galawan natin, nawawala na. Okay? Dapat yung ma-recover natin, lumalayo sila ng lumalayo. Hindi dapat na tayo dapat maging ganyan dyan. So, dahan-dahan lang tayo. Kuha tayo ulit ng pacing natin, recover lang ulit tayo. Focus ulit sa defensa, guys. Focus sa defensa. Hey, Jerry! They really need to focus on the defense because they are successful in getting Dreamline out of system. And uh, the last sequence na yon, hindi na all power yung ginawa ni Yellow Basa. She just went for a cross-court angle just to avoid the double block of Cherry Tigo. Pero mabagal dun sa reaction time yung mga defenders ng crossovers. Oo, oh, oh, totoo. Malaplacing nga ang ginawa eh. Samantala, tama si Neil, lima ang lamang, gawin mo ng arin. Now the tables have turned. It's the cream line pool smashers taking charge of that service line. Sevilla Vecchione 
able to keep it in play. It's a six point spread right now. Regalo, that's so. Ah, yung, <laughs> yung um, regalo na hindi nabuksan ng Pasko, <laughs> binuksan ng 26th. Cream line doubles up on the Charity Go crossovers. It's 14 serving 7. That was a smart move by Galanza. Kung pinalo niya with one hand, baka na block. Diniina niya para bumaon eh. And there will be a change in the setter's position for Coach Clarence. Arina Bicar will be setting for the crossovers. And they get some dividends. Nawala din yung intensity ng Cherry Tigo. And they won that second set. By being on fire, actually. In the meantime, we'll have the serve of Bicar. Crossovers are currently down by six. Don't you love the voice of Coach Mac Kipuela? I feel like I, I'm in an airport somewhere in the world. In the meantime, Yellow Basa taking flight. And the estimated time of arrival <laughs> is exactly right. 15 to 8, count. Crazy cut shot from Yellow Basa. Being crafty in that last sequence. To me, saying yes, pa si Yellow, gusto pa nang in the second serve. Niya. Long. And Creamline currently posting its biggest lead in this third. A new and exciting season of the NBA is here. Watch all the action on NBA TV Philippines, Channel 96 on Standard Definition. Uh, and now, this is made more affordable on Signal on both paid plan 290 and prepaid load 300. Special offer available from October 15 to November 15 only. Continuing with this battle, it is now 17 to 8. Biggest lead so far for Creamline. At nine points, they have been targeting EJ Laure on the serve. That's why Shaya Adorador is there para makuha ng unang pasa muna so that Alina Bicar can set up the reinforcement or Mylene Paat. And get their offense going. Rain Tixon has a report, Rain. Be tactical. Yan ang paulit-ulit na sinasabi ni Mylene sa kanyang kapunan. The crossovers put emphasis on converting second chance opportunities and minimizing errors as they ended with seven in the second set. Cherry Tigo's head coach Clarence Esteban reminded his squad to pump up the intensity and focus on what they've practiced. Let's go back here to more volleyball action in set number three. And two key words by my partners here today emerged from that report and Neil pointed that out also the intensity factor seems to have dissipated on the side of Cherry Tigo they're down now by 9 18 to 9 parang yung control of the match huh, has shifted completely to cream line Panaka serve to Rendes has to stretch for it Battle at the net, but unloads and scores. Eliza Valdez didn't go up for the block, and Miley Pat saw that, so dina anya sa bilis ng palo to get through the defense of Seth Domingo. Crossovers down by eight. Baliton has had a good game. Galanza. Reverse set Basa. 
Wellington has had a good game so far, but so has Yellow Basa. Now here's that substitution pattern that has worked for Dreamline. The Gumabao Negrito entrance in that first set was beneficial to them. Nine point lead by the Cool Smashers. Negrito, she's made her contributions as well as the op, uh, alternate setter. Dorendes got to it, but lifts it high. It's going to be tossed easily over. Here comes Negrito's jump set. Valdez. Bicar. There was a touch. Yep, that point will go to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. No challenge there. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Literally and figuratively. Eight point lead. But. Gumabo adjusts in the air. Had to punch it over. Good counter. That might be the impact play for Cherry Tigo to get back that, mo that momentum and intensity that we've been looking for. You know, I see, hear this very often. You may not be able to turn over the set, but you're trying to build and light the fire for momentum going yeah. into the next set because it's already at 19-12. But let's see. This one is elevated high. Adorador with a good slash. Gumabo's counter. Karandang flying. Gumabo touches it over. Karandang wants it back. Galanza. Reverse set. Valdez. Alisa wanted it, she got it. That was the fourth point of Alisa Valdez in this ball game. Didn't have the best of starts actually, huh? But I guess it's how you finish really, although Malayu Pataya. Oh, Domingo capitalizing! Sakarandang deciding not to go up for that block. It was already tight from that Gemma Galanza pass. That was the only thing that said Domingo could have done. Correct, correct. Guding has been steady, huh? Double block. And that violation will be called on Karandang. So that will give Creamline a 10-point lead. Their biggest. Dallas Reyes seeing action for the first time, pulling out Karandang. One of the U.S. additions to the roster of the crossovers, Jason De Los Reyes from uh, Tatreo de Manila University program. Watch this. Eliza Valdez gets an ace. Make that five points for Eliza Valdez. This is so not the form of Cherry Tigo when they took that second set. Doremdes. Gentle touch by Adorador. Keeps it in play. Set becomes the fake and there's a touch. Six points for Michelle Guma. About five in the first set. Alam na alam din ni Grito, nasa likod niya si Michelle, ano? Ever reliable. And that will put Creamline at set point. Paat. Ella. Galanza dumped it over. The cool smashers get a two sets to one advantage against the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Defense killing it right now for the ladies in white. And they did it in authoritative fashion. Their defense intact, their offense percolating. 
One more set coming up. That was short work, quote unquote, by the Cool Smashers in that third set, needing only 22 minutes compared to the 34 that they needed in the first set. But the intensity may not be registered there, which is clear in the game of Cherry Tigo in the second. They have to switch it on again. Some highlights from set three. Cherry Tigo had control in set number two. They had uh, more blocks compared to the Creamline Cool Smashers. They all also had the attack output that they were looking for. But something happened here in the third set that gave all that momentum away. And uh, all the momentum right now is on the side of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Great decision also for Coach Sherwin Menezes to put in Ella De Jesus. Kyla Atienza was struggling, but Ella De Jesus provided a stable uh, defense in the backcourt. And continue to get dividends from Michelle Gumabao as we take a look at the numbers from that last set. Nawala totally yung block points ng Cherry Tigo in set number three. And uh, Creamline got more aces. Boy, the, the undefeated run of Cherry Tigo suddenly in mild jeopardy. I say mild because they can bounce back. I thought they were on a downslide against the Army. And the Army gave them quite a fight in that recent battle. Naka survive between Cherry Tigo. So, ano ito? Dukutan ng uh, puso ito yeah. somewhere. On the other hand, if you're cream line, you don't want to give Cherry Tigo any more chances here. Might as well, if you can finish the job, do it here. Atienza will return as libero. Sabi sa'yo, papauso ko yung term na regalo sa mundo. Kasi yung li libero is very Italian. Regalo is also Italian. But they don't use it. They call it overpass. Andito mawid yung tira na yun. Good ball, start. Ball didn't go over for Gemma Galanza. First point goes to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Alam mo saan magaling ang cream line? Pagka uminit na sila, they can bounce back quite quickly. Basa. Alina Bicor had to talk. <laughs> Basang basa yung sitwasyon. Tingnan nyo, eskinita ang dinaanan ito. Ha? E sanay pa yan na yung bumablock sa kanya, matatangkad yan, di ba? Ule sa taas, si Sevecevic. They recycle to her. Gia Murado with the Guzman was ready for it. The strike by Basa. It's in play. Big car pushes it high. Oh, a shoulder action from, <laughs> from Gia. You have a new floor director. <laughs> yeah. Wala na makuha eh. <laughs> Two to one count. Sivijevic. He's been productive, but probably needs to score so much more to give Cherry Tigo a better chance in this match. 
confirming with Coach Clarity if her serve went out, but it was clearly outside. Ang layo eh. Samantala, to all po ang ating bilang dito sa ating ikaapat na set. Gia Morado doing libero stop. Oh, basa short. She apologizes for that mistake. And again, Cherry is already in our semifinals. Yeah. They're the first team to actually qualify. And the win here will occupy Dreamline, pushes them into the same direction. Ang habol nila dito momentum eh. Baka magkikita siguro uli yan sa semifinals. So, a uh, combination play. One hand by Sinejovic. Two hands by Galanza. Valdez. Yes! Nice of is starting to heat up on offense. She started in set number three. She also had a couple of service aces. Doremdes has been all over that back row. At Shinsan able to elevate it. Ang hirap ng shot na yun, yung prayer shot na... The uh, chop. The chop. There are different names to it. It's so hard to control. Yeah. Pero ka, kung may kaso, desperate <laughs> times need desperate emergency measures, so you make do. And you also use the chop, lalo na pag nakikita mo, papunta na sa mukha mo yung bola na napakabilis. You would immediately uh, try to deflect that ball. Ideally, pataas. Tabla po tayo sa apat. Alisa Valdez. Oh! Another ace for Alisa Valdez. And Sevillovic unable to handle it. Alam mo, simple lang ang serve niya yung ilay. Pero kargado yan, ha? Doremdes has been steadfast. Soft stop. Yellow Basa scampers with Galanza. Didn't get the crawl. Tried to go for a crafty hit. Cut shot papunta dun sa deep cross court. Tawag natin bowling shot. The bowling, the kanat. <laughs> Five ball. We are so happy you could join us wherever you're catching our presentation here today. Battle of the Undefeated. Galanza! Natapilok pa ng konti. And they laugh it off. Okay, in the meantime, Bikar. Playable. Gia goes to the pipe. Long. But there was a check ball on one of the defenders. Sabi ng Lions judge. They want to confer. Ilan na ba total points ni Galanza? Nakita mo ba? Still waiting on the update from our technical committee. Uh -oh. Sa dami, mahirap ng bilangin, ano? But I'm quite sure that about, she's, she's, she's up there. Digit. She's oh. in double digits. She's about 14, siguro. Yeah. Yellow Basa might be the top scorer, pero si Gemma Galanza, sigurado, siya yung pumapangalawa. Anyway, let's focus on said Domingo. She has so far produced that many points. Dorendez elevates it. Off the blockers. Domingo. Good action on the back row. Good action on the front row. Panaga gets a hand on it. Alisa managing to stand up for it. Galanza. Torendes. The soft stop. Yellow Basa. This is the longest rally we've had. This could take forever. Order a pizza, whatever. 
Valdez keeps it alive. Morado doesn't want to waste it. Galanza kept alive by Juan. This is like a boxing match, and it had to end. Big block from Gia Morado de Guzman against the reinforcement of Cherry Tigo, but they were asking for a lifting violation midway, but we enter the technical timeout with Green Line on top by three points. Our DJ tonight is going retro. Ano ne? Shalala ne? In the meantime, 8 5 count. Parang gusto na umuwi nitong cream line, ano ha? Gusto na tapusin yung boxing na to. That was the longest rally. Looks like you have some numbers. Yellow Basa has 17 points in this ballgame, 14 attacks, 1 block and two serves and Gemma Galanza has had 12 points built on 12 attacks. What's happening to Cherry Tigo, Neil? What's not working for them? Well, the defense of Cream Line just working and uh, the coverage of Cherry Tigo still absent and yun yung pinoint out na kanina ni Coach Clarence Esteban that we have to be able to support our attackers by giving them the coverage that they need. Said Domingo, however, sends it into the heart of the net. That'll make it six against nine as Karandang will get her serve. Morado, Panaga, good skid to the floor. Get the line, Morado, Galanza. Make that 13 points for Gemma Galanza to support the 17 of Yellow Basa. That's a 30-point combined output for these two players. Alam mo sa import, you expect that. That's why they're here. You go to them for the production. But when you have a special player like Gemma Galanza with 13 points supporting the effort, as well as Michelle Gumabao coming up with some valuable points off the bench, four-point lead. Very festive action at the net. Out. Yellow Basa getting her 18th point. Dreamline starting to create that separation with the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Naging set, naging spike, naging point. Clarence Esteban wants to talk shop. Well, the crossovers need something special here before these uh, goal smashers just pull away. Five point lead established by Cream Line. Parang everything just clicked para dito sa Cream Line. Their serve, their defense, their offense, their coverage. Charity Go is having a hard time converting again their attacks. And that's the reason why the yeah. solid net defense of Cream Line and their backcourt defense as well. Their floor defense is become intact however Basa did not gamble anymore 
That was an overpass on the second touch. They tried to set up Yellow Basa, but it was just too close to the net. Alanganin, eh, no? 7 11 is the uh, count. Back row attack. Regalo, hindi na dayinan. <laughs> Sabi ni Basa, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> What about that dig of Buding Duremde? She has been digging a lot of hits from Gemma Galanza. Oh, no. That has led to the points of Cherry Tigo. Sabi ni Buding, ano ako, pater? <laughs> Malamang. Siguraduhin niyong mabatay niyan pag uh, uh, naiaangat kong bola, sabi uh, niya. Oh, oh, naman. Here's Duremde making it a set. And that bounces out. Here's a surge now by Cherry Tigo. They've scored the last three points. Timeout being requested by Sherwin Meneses. Having covered Sherwin for the longest time. Just a cool dude. Yeah, he's always calm and collected yeah. in all the timeouts. You wouldn't feel any unnecessary pressure. Tatlo yung bubuwain ko dyan. Shaq de Los Santos, Sherwin Meneses, at si dating Cherry Tigo ko, si Aaron Velez. Aaron Velez. Another good oh, save. Oh, yes, sir! Give the Medal of Valor to Duremdes. Basa! Oh, she nicked the corner! That was the designed play for Yellow Basa in that last timeout. They put Gemma Galanza in the right wing and Gia Morado de Guzman just set that ball to Yellow Basa. For the Cherry Eagle crossovers, Helena Sevijovic already has 13 points and Mylene Pat has 10, 23 combined points for these two players. In the meantime, Valdez, Laure, Bicar, that is long. Richie Tixon, uh, sorry, Richie Tixon, your basketball player here. Rain Tixon has a report. Everything was clicking for the cool smashes as Gia activated almost all of her spikers. It helps that at the end of the third set and at the end of the technical timeout, Creamline added momentum shifting points. They have cool in their name, but Creamline is red hot here in the fourth set. Can they close out the match? Stay tuned here in set number four. Apologies to Rain Tixon. Pasensya ka na, matagal ko kinover si Richie. In the meantime, look at this, Neil. Late end game, not yet end game, but a big surge by Cherry Tigo. They don't want to go quietly into the night. It doesn't feel like they're down by three points. They're enjoying every point that they they're get. They're trying. Ano? Parang kasi, kung bakit natin sasamain? Happy volleyball, as our dear friend Mosi Rabena would say. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Achenza has struggled here today. Huh? On the reception side of things, she has struggled. But again, they do have a second libero in the form of Ella de Jesus. So at any point in time, Coach Sherwin Meneses can switch up uh, liberos. Ella de Jesus can be the receiving libero and uh, Kyle Atienza can be the digging one. Good point. You can choose two liberos for your team as long as you pre-assign them. Look at this! A resurgence by Cherry Tigo. They've scored the last three points. And when you play happy, your movement mo sobrang loose. You don't get pressured in deciding what angles to choose. And DJ Laure was against the reinforcement. Okay, that's a great of point. Cream line. Absolutely great point because it's just going to flow. In the meantime, you sense cream line dancing up a little. Because it's hard to close the match. Long, but they got the end line. Walang short ball itong si Basa. No? Not long. Eh. He doesn't usually go for drop balls. He would always 
go for power most of the time. And that's the way the Turkish national team plays. Eh? Hot down na! 14-12. And that is really long. Hey, we've got a very tight fourth. Game line still giving a chance to the Cherry Pigo crossovers with uh, these unforced errors. This might not be the best thing to do. Because Cherry Pigo, they've got some resilience. I think they found a bit of their character in that army game. That Nick the net. Back row! And that is uh, the combination play for Eliza Valdez. Celine Domingo getting the commitment of one of the blockers of Cherry Tigo. Cannot give Eliza Valdez a single block from the middle. Look at that swing. Takaw na takaw si Eli, eh, no? <laughs> Gustong gusto niya yun. Kanina pa niya inita yung opportunity to score a clean hit. Paat, her shot in play, Eliza. Sivijevic got to it. Domingo will fake. Valdez will fire. The ball is... Oh! Up. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Laure says, thank you, my lucky stars. <laughs> lucky point for EJ Laure. They will take it. Doesn't matter how you score a point at this junction of the game. You want to challenge the Cool Smashers to a decider. Ginabi na rin lang tayo. Might as well, sabi ng Cherry Tigo. Palipasin na muna natin yung traffic. Kasabay natin yung mall na lalabas. Ipit ako sa gitna nung kanina. Lakas kasi ng loob ko pumunta doon sa mall. Cream line by one. Mintis sa atake. Tim din. Rejected by the double whammy. We have arrived at the second technical timeout of the fourth. It's 16-14 Cream line. Trying to seal the deal here in the fourth. Score po natin na uh, habang pabalik ang ating mga teams uh, out of the technical timeout is 16-14. The set count, in case you're joining us late, is two sets to one in favor of Creamline. First set going the way of Creamline with Michelle Gumabo uncorking some valuable off-the-bench points. The second set going to Cherry Tigo at 25-20. The third going to Creamline in devastating, authoritative fashion, 25-12. to 12. But here it's close and tight. It's 16-15 now. That's another unforced error on the line for the Cool Smashers. And in the past two rotations, yung service error yung nag-trim down ng kalamangan ng Creamline. Actually, you know, here's Laure. Alam ni Galan sa mali, oh. From Alam the niya. initial Alam contact niya. point al already, it was obvious that she wasn't in control of that first pass. Tsaka patagalin niya kasi kinuha yung bola, so the trajectory would definitely be different. I will speculate, she said, Isus. Isus. Alam niya, no? Alam mo naman, if you play this game, you know when it's a bad hit. 16 all. How close is close. Todo bigay yung hataw ni Domingo na yan. Basa. Oh, Gia! Nabor. Sivijevic. Here comes a more calm and collected approach. Sinimplian na lang ni Gemma Galanza. She wasn't in any position to power through that block. 
ni hindi na nga siya nakuha ng approach Gemma Galanza using her vertical jump to get that uh, cut shot down the line one point lead by cream line but not out of the fire yet they did wow. commit mistakes on the line but said domingo gets a point off her serve and it's probably crucial because they're trying to create some distance between them and this very and kita kita natin dun sa replay yung bola patay na patay uh, there wasn't uh, any spin yeah. yeah very resilient cherry tigo team ah and na yung scowl ni Karandang she wants it. Now the two wing hitters of Cheritigo right now will be tasked to score the next few points. It's going to be Helena Sivijevic and Dindin Santiago Manabat while Rosel Baleton takes care of things in blocking. Ah, uh, Panagad. That's, that seems to be a cream line money play. When, they, when in doubt, when they don't get points, they'll go to the slide with Panagad. And parang hindi full commitment yung ibinigay ng reinforcement ng Cherry Tigo for that hit. In the meantime, Ella De Jesus is back on the floor as the alternate libero. Great hit from Dindin Santiago Manaba targeting the left hand of Gemma Galanza. And we are still cozy here. 18-19. Go ahead, please. She fulfills her responsibility in that specific substitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tama yan. Mukhang malakas, pero hindi. Ginawa ng solusyon. Panaga is rejected. Basa drops to the floor. Atienza has to heave it over. Here comes Duremdes. The set. The shot. It is in play as Pod makes do. Atienza... Basa! Buding Doremdes once again picking it up for Cherry Tigo. And we are chasing every available ball. Valdez, Gia, Basa! <laughs> Yellow Basa with authority. Pounding the pavement and getting a two-point lead for the Creamline Cool Smashers. But again, what about the effort of Buding oh. Remdes? Remember her name. I have nothing but good words for this libero of Cherry Tigo. Always oh, been very solid, you know? 2018 count. You know, you can sense from the body language of Basa. Tapusin na natin to. <laughs> Gemma Galanza, uh, the serve. Bikar, one hand on it. Panaga, the joust. Ella Valdez. Crowd yelling at every play. Oh! Mylene Pat with her own version. It was like a bullet. Going through the double block of Sa the cool smashers. Sabilis, hindi ma rewind yung replay. Oh. 17 points for Helena Sivijevic. And she keeps it in play. Massa is rejected. Gia Morada de Guzman was so close to it. And we are tied at 20. More than the pain that she probably experienced going down. Some more a little frustration. She was so close to it, actually. Ito, ah. Ayuno. Ooh. Anong sabi ni Boom Gonzalez? Dolphin dive. <laughs> Mahilig sa dolphin yun. Tabla. When in trouble, go to Alice about this as well. And kailangan natin siya na... She always shows up in big games. She would have off games, pero pag clutch time talaga and you go to Eliza Valdez, 
She delivers now Pilka Inglet. Cayetano will be serving for the Cool Smashers. First time for her to appear in the game, actually. Ito, dati ring attacker to. Namimiss ko yung down the line attacks niya. Eh. Uh-oh. Too low on the toss for Phil. Kainglet, Cayetano. Alam mo, kuminsan pag tagal mo sa bench, ano? Tabla! Boy, you can see the strain of the match on the faces of the players. But they would rather be here than anywhere else. And we're glad you are with us in this competition as well. Masa had no chance for a clean connection there. Achenza gets it from down under. Valdez. Doesn't matter if she started the game slow. It's all about finishing for Eliza Valdez. And she scored back-to-back -back points already here in the tail end of set number four. And titingnan natin kung gagana itong magic substitution ulit ni Sherwin Meneses, Michelle Gumabaw in alongside Kyle Negrito. If you just joined us, Michelle Gumaba with some magic numbers in that first set. Coming off the bench, producing five valuable points that closed that first. She was together with this woman. Negritos serve in play. Doremdes makes it a set for Patu Short. And that's the problem when you give out high sets in transition. Nakakalula then for the attackers. But what's done is done. Creamline up by two. And dami mong iniisip eh, no? Yung judging, yung distance, yung attacking, yung net, yung blocker. And in the meantime, let's try to listen to Clarence Esteban. Go lang, go lang, go lang, go lang. Yun, yun, kailangan kasi natin umabot eh. Kailangan natin umabot eh. Okay? Dapat pag ano tayo, dapat ilaban na natin to kasi kailangan natin makuha tong set na to. Yung isang maganda receive, sino yung spike natin? Mag-play to ka, tapos i-lead sinko mo para malibre yun dito. Kaya buti nito sa dito. Clarence is step and knows how to make the game very simple. Alam mo naman kasi, no, pag ikaw dati kang player, no, pag nandiyan, you don't need that many instructions. Eh. You just need the basics, reminders. Tatlo pa din ang nasa harap for the Cherry Tigo crossover. So this is still a good rotation yeah, I agree. for their squad. Yeah, great to serve. Sevevich, Mylene, Doremdes, nagpapakamatay na sa bawat play! Sinusuklian naman ang kanyang mga kakampi. EJ Laure scoring off that cross-court hit, getting through Set Domingo. And yun yung sinasabi, if you have coverage, you have an equal chance of getting the point back to your squad off exactly. their counter-attack. You get to keep it in play as well. Galanza at the back row. Atienza makes it a set. Gumabao attacks. Doremdes still doing what she has done throughout this game. Oh! Yes, and we will be tied. Back-to-back -back points for EJ Laure. Basic play for the Cherry Tigo crossovers, but the execution just perfect. This is like championship night here, but you keep in mind we're still in the sort of classification phase. It's still alive. Teams vying for their positions in the next round. Valdez. Eliza Valdez. What else can we say? The past five or six sequences, when you set the ball to her, you get a kill. And now they're at match point. First match point for the Cool Smashers. Sherwin Meneses wants his liberos to change places. We are, as you mentioned, at match point. That uh, change of libero will not be allowed because because of protocol. So Ella De Jesus will be serving as a libero in this Cruci next rally. Okay, crucial sequence. Let's see if Eliza Valdez can deliver a service ace. Sevejevich 
Battle of the net. No. It's a violation. We will be tied at 24. That's the correct call. Overreaching will be called on Gemma Galanza. Bute na unahan ni Alina Bicar si Gemma Galanza because if Gemma Galanza had a hand on that first, that would have been an instant point for Creamline kasi nasa back row pa yung setter ng Cherry Tigo. So, Cherry Tigo saving a match point here. It's been a long day for you, my friend. And why <laughs> it not? It has been. <laughs> Same thing with, with Rain. Tied up at 24. Galanza. Negrito. Galanza. Bicar. Long. Check ball check will ball, be given. Ball. And Cherry Tigo takes over and gets the set point. No reinforcement on the floor right now for the Creamline Cool Smashers. No challenge system in place. So again, it's going to be up to the first referee to make that final decision and his decision will stick and that point will go to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Timeout, Creamline. When you get to this point of the match, becomes, I like what Boom uses to describe, it's gut check time. But I would include, aside from the gut, is your mind and your heart, where is it right now? I'm sure the heart is there for both sides. Yellow Basa is back in for the Cool Smashers, but she will be attacking from the back row. Yellow card. Yellow card in issue against uh, Domingo. One, hindi siya ang kapitan. Only the captain can address the referee. In the meantime, we are recording that uh, yellow card. Gia Morado de Guzman can gamble and give a quick attack to Seth Domingo or she can go to Gemma Galanza or pwede din naman kay Yellow Basa from the back row. Daming options. Uh. This one. Ooh, tough service error. Uh, they almost had it. Alam mo, kuminsan pag uh, matagal, diba, yung nag-aantay ka, nag-iiba yung pulso mo Grip. They do have the chance to uh, attack first. Yeah. And they still have Sele uh, Helena Sivilovic in front. So Alina Bikar has to choose her cards well. Especially at this critical stage of this ballgame. 25 apiece here. It's outside. And another match point for Grimline. Sivirovic tried to go for the swipe. She has been effective throughout this game against the blocking of Gia Morado de Guzman. But in that last sequence, there was just too much angle on that hit. And she knew it. Uh -huh. And again, another match point, the second. <laughs> Captain Play! Little bit of confusion. Gia Morado makes two. Galanza high up. Pod gets to it. Karandang will fall. Oh! Sa Karandang. Gut check time. Gets that A quick to go. 26 all. I'm warning you. I've done 44 42. <laughs> Men's volleyball pa yun, huh? Love that emotion being shown to us by Sakarandang. Galanza rejected. Valdez tracks it down. Galanza. Oh! There it is. Santa Rosa. The 
Charity Go fans up on their feet, cheering for their squad. The streamers are out, the banners are out. Second set point for them. And the gamble works. Yes, it does. For Gia Morata de Guzman. Now they have Yellow Basa. Ito lang iniintay ng cream line. Mapaikot yung reinforcement sa harapan. And now you can expect Gia Morado de Guzman to set it up dun sa right wing ng cream line. Parang walang set point at match point na nakataya. Ano? Basta ordinary points and both teams just giving it everything they have right now. Playable. They'll send it over. The dump on two. Basa. Tremendous. Atchenza makes it a set for Basa. Tremendous. For Pat. Basa. Gia Murado de Guzman. Galanza. Galanza again. Listen to this crowd. Enjoy. Big block for Cherry Tigo. Rosel Baliton getting a block against Yellow Basa. And you thought that the first game was long. <laughs> Another set point, the third. Oh! What an exchange! Between these two squads, this is precisely the reason why they are still undefeated in this tournament. Full front line for Cream Line. 28 all. Galanza, Dorendes. Another. Wait, they're waiting for the decision from referee Velarde. He wants the line judge. Only a liable desk can make a clarification. And it goes to Cherry Tigo. Yep, that point will go to Cherry Tigo. And you can just see the frustration in the face it, of uh, Yellow Basa. Referee Velarde calling a lie to Valdez. So kung sa amin, kasi siya nasa linya siya, di ba? Tama yung linya niya eh. So kung ano, hindi natin pwede i-ignore. Sometimes sa bilis ng bola, hindi rin talaga napapansin ng mga first referees. That's why they ask dun sa mga lines judge. Kasi that's the main responsibility of the linesmen to check on that specific line. Second yellow card issued against Streamline. And they don't want a red card that's no, going to be an automatic point. You don't the want that right now. Set point. I think it's the third. Atenza. Valdez. <laughs> you don't like me, man. <laughs> So effective for uh, clutch time. You don't need to check the gut of Alisa Valdez. No. It's all heart for the Phenom. You, now, you won't like me when I'm mad. You know, we we now like to be one of the most even killed people that we know, but at the same time, such a competitor. Here's another challenge for Cherry Tigo. Oh! Service ace for Pax Panaga. That will bring back Dreamline to match point. Four match points already for the Cool Smashers. But can they make this final point? Elusive, ano? Elusive. They, they can finish it with a block. Or they can set it up to Valdez or Basa. Uh-oh. Wait for the whistle. They got a break. They got a break. They got a break. They, got a break. they can't hear the whistle with a... <laughs> Well, that hasn't that rule hasn't changed for centuries. Huh? I mean, I exaggerate, of course, but if there's no whistle, there's no authority to serve. Now, 
Panaga can serve. They got a break there. Panaga will target. Elena Sevillovic on the serve. Great pass. Blocked. Doremdes all over the floor. But Galanza Basa cut. Doremdes makes it a set for Mylene Pat. Oh! oh! No follow up on the first touch. Nagkaroon ng impitan eh. Nung may mga bumagsak na player. Watch this again. And everybody was staring at each other. I thought that they were going to go for a counter-attack with the sequence. There was congestion eh. May mga roadblocks eh. Oh boy, Neil. 30 all. The only cool voice here is that of Mark Hipwela, our Coliseum announcer, Gia. It's a nip and tuck affair. We are just exchanging points here in set number four. You know what Gia Morado is doing? Simply ano natin to. Simply ano na. The, week, the easiest we can do to get the point, let's go there. Another match point, the fifth. Dorendes. If you're Cherry Tigo, you just don't want to give this away. It's tossed over cleanly. Gia. Oh! oh! Alessandro Desplat! Explode! Back to back hits from Seth Domingo. Dreamline was already asking for a double contact violation on EJ Laure. But the play continued and Gia Morado de Guzman just set up Seth Domingo at that perfect time. Finishing. This set 32 to 30 in favor of the Cool Smashers. And that's it. They officially enter the semifinals alongside the Cherry Tigo crossovers. And uh, Cherry Tigo will get their first loss of this conference. And what a game. We are so happy you could join us. Neil and Rain, what a game uh, we have done with our colleagues here in Santa Rosa Laguna. We will. Try to wrap this up. Five match points. 44 minutes. And you thought your first game was long. <laughs> the fourth set earlier was 72 minutes long. But this time... Ito, play, it, ito. It, playing minutes. Playing minutes. It reached that 30 point mark. And uh, we had too much of a technical problem in the first game. And just for the record, the challenge system was not implemented here in the second game. That was a treat for all of the fans, not just here in the Santa Rosa multi-purpose complex, but also to those watching at home. 20 attack points for Creamline, uh, although they committed more errors. And aside from the discrepancy in the attack, every aspect of the game was really close. In the meantime, nagmamadali umuwi itong mga mga nagsiasetup dito, ha? But what a game, and it thrilled everybody, regardless of what side you were on. And Achenza and Galanza say hi to the fans. Well, this is their hometown, oh. so that's home court advantage for Gemma Galanza and Kyle Atienza. That hard formation pa dun, ano? Mga kamag-anak nila siguro yun nandiyan, ano ha? In the meantime, Gia trading stories with our two referees who were quite um, loaded with things to do without the challenge system, of course. Let's take a look at some uh, big moments in this game. And finally, Yellow Basa can't ignore what she did here today. 22 big points for the reinforcement of Creamline, proving to be as steady as ever as they get their fifth straight victory of the reinforced conference we'll try to talk to yellow boss in a short while well, we also would that's a um, that's a qualitative uh, number actually more than anything else 
And um, De Guzman thanking the audience over there. And Yellow Basa is loving the fans here in the Philippines. You know, every time we have uh, foreign reinforcements, Iba yung reception nila. They would always stress that the crowd is different, the atmosphere is different, and they always enjoy playing in front. And the food! And the food! <laughs> <laughs> I remember in the press conference, they were so happy. They couldn't describe many of the dishes, but they were eating too much rice. Sabi <laughs> nila. But we are so happy to have them. This is a great crop of reinforcement players, actually. Set for highlights on your screen. Jerry Tigo almost completed that comeback in set number four. But again, Seth Domingo just putting the yeah. final touches. Okay, if Rain Tixon is ready to talk with our best player, and uh, take it away, Rain. Five match points later, and Creamline has secured a semifinals berth here at the Reinforced Conference. First, let's talk to their reinforcement, Yellow Basa. Maybe you have a message to our audience. Uh, thank you so much, Santa Rosa. All right, that was Creamline reinforcement, Yellow Basa. Now let's move over to the mastermind herself, Gia Morado de Guzman. Gia, do you have a greeting to your audience here in Santa Rosa, Laguna? Uh, we'd like to thank everybody, uh, the city of Santa Rosa, for welcoming us, for always supporting us, and the rest of the teams in PVL. We really feel all of the love and support. And sa inyo talaga kami kumukuha ng lakas pag naglalaro. Thank you so much. All right, that was your Creamline Cool Smashers here at Santa Rosa Laguna. Okay, that's um, all the time we have left, Neil. Neil, uh, this is a schedule at the Big Dome on Tuesday. The United Auctioneers Army Lady Troopers will go up against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans at 2.30. And the much-anticipated matchup between the Creamline Cool Smashers and F2 Logistics Cargo Movers will happen at 5.30. Okay, thank you very much, Neil Flores, as well as Rain Tixon. In behalf of all of us here, Sam Sarmenta here saying thank you for joining us in the place where it all started, the Premier Volleyball League. Big win by Creamland. They remain undefeated. Look at the score in the flat set, 30. Again. Again.